are ready to get started. Boys and girls, I am so excited for you. I am so excited for you to be here to see this play today. For the last many, many weeks, I walk by and I see these students working so hard on this play. So I'm going to turn the microphone over to Mrs. Bunderson and she's going to introduce the play. Let's get the class and raise a round of applause. with 
Oh, but you must. There's only half past eleven, and you're bound with one of us until twelve. Well, as a pirate, it's my duty to tell you, you are too tender hearted. For instance, you never attack from speaker than yourself. And whenever you attack strong ones, you always lose. Also, you never fight orphans. Of course not. We are orphans ourselves. Yes, but the word is quick. And now everyone we capture says he's an orphan. So we let him go. Uh, not to change the subject, but what is to become of me, your own dear Ruth? I don't know. I've not seen another woman since I've been eight years old. I think you are pretty and sweet. I am! Oh, I am! I could be mistaken. would be terribly very <laughs>
me. You mustn't do that. By the way, I don't recognize these uniforms. What are you? They're the famous pirates of Penzance. I must object to pirates as sons-in-law. I'm sure my two objects is made of gentleness father-in-laws. But no one the case. Oh, an idea. Would you rob me of my daughters and leave me the remainder of my life? Unfriended, unprotected, and alone. Yes. But have you ever known what it is to be an orphan? Oh, oh damn it all! He is fearing the 
pirates when Frederick appears and reveals that he has asked the police to attack and arrest the pirates. The police arrive to carry out their duty. Just before the encounter, the pirate queen and Ruth appear. They explain the paradox or contradictory situation and inform Frederick that since he was born in the leap year, on the 29th of February, he has actually celebrated only five birthdays. His indenture, or contract to work for the pirates, runs until his 21st birthday. Therefore, he must serve as a pirate for many years to come. Frederick's sense of duty forces him to expose the Major General's lie. The pirates capture the Major General, but the police come to the rescue. A struggle ensues and the pirates overcome the police. However, the police insist that the pirates yield in the name of Queen Victoria. Ruth explains to everyone that the pirates are actually noblemen who have gone wrong. The pirates are pardoned and are allowed to marry the daughters and all rejoice.
alive. So 21 years I've been alive. And but a little boy at five? <laughs> you're apprenticed to us until your 21st birthday. You would never have forgiven yourselves had you killed two of your comrades. My comrades? Yes, we really remind you of that. We address to your sense of duty. I shudder the thought.
Thank you. 